Hello everyone, it's me, Video Gaming Bear, with San Andreas Part 18. And... We are on our way to Caesar's mission that's available. I'm not really sure why it's Caesar's mission, because I don't even think he's involved in it. But still. It's classed as Caesar's mission on the map, so... That's whose mission I'm calling it. And also that cameo I was talking about in the first race also makes an even bigger appearance in this one. And it's the guy who you play as in GTA 3. Um, Claude Speed. So yeah. Cage didn't know that. I can't see how anyone watching this video doesn't know that yet. Well, you know, maybe there's the off chance that there's someone watching this who's never even played this game. You know, you never know. But still, anyway. So, here we go. Another race and a cameo from uh, GTA Free Guy. And yeah. I'll see you at the end of the cutscene. Well, I'll speak to you at the end of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Tenderness? Do you prefer the curves of some car to those of a real woman? Look, Catalina, you called it off, remember? Just business. What kind of a man are you? When I say just business, I mean that I love what you! What the fuck? When I say I know interest no more, I mean that I love wait. For you! And hey, when I say that wait, I miss Catalina, you! Wait, Catalina, wait! Leave my car alone! I did this for us, for me and you! It's too late! I don't love you no more. I love another, okay? What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. This Carl? This is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Huh? No, no, I, I can take rejection. You are jealous and a coward. Now let's race. Okay, here race, we go. Bitch. There he is, Claude Speed. Ooh, talking in a cutscene, breaking my own rules. Anyway, here we go, race. Got the old lady on the roof. She's a crazy bitch. Anyway, yeah, sports cars. This time around, in this race. Um, they're not exactly made for this sort of driving. Off roadster shit. Where the hell are those guys? They should, like, let's be down here now. Shouldn't be behind. I don't think. That's why I'm not giving myself the doubt possibility that they. I'm not gonna let myself think that they're far behind because they'll probably sneak up on me and then I'll be all like, "Oh God!" And yeah, it's not good. And I'm all disorientated. What have you done to me, game? You've turned me all around. See what I mean? This car, not good at driving on a, a road. It's a grassy, dirty road. Dirt road. Dirty dirt road. At least not fastly, anyway. So I'm just gonna slow down a bit. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy does it every time. Mm 
Try not to get distracted. There's something I really long to look at in my room in this room, but I'm too busy concentrating. Now my hands itching, and I'm using both hands. Oh god! Uh, uh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I got it. I had to remove my hand from the mouse for a moment. It's like playing a game of Risk. Is that even a game? I don't know. There's probably a game called Risk, but it's probably nothing like what I just compared it to. So yeah. Good job on my part. And bam, this is done. So how far behind were they? Looks like they were pretty far behind. Hmm. Juke had the unfair advantage. Being a better driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfied me fully. What are you going to say about that? Hmm, the advantage of a stick shift, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? They did to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. I will. Fine. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss you. Goodbye. No money this time. Just a garage. Um. That'll factor into the story real soon. For now, I'm gonna head to where I know the next mission takes place, and it's down here. Uh, like, this, about here. So, again, I have a fair bit of driving on my hands. And I got this car with me, and get to keep. It's probably gonna get blown up Somebody gonna be real mad soon. At you for screwing up their ride. There's no way I'm gonna be able to take it with me through the game, so. Oh well. Too bad. Cars don't last in GTA. Never. Never. You better be drunk. Well, excuse me, driver. What kind of license you got? A vision license? Come on, man. Listen to me, honk. Oh shit! Why did I do that? I hit F when I meant to press D. Oh, well, I'll answer this now. What's happening? Hey, Carl, dude. Now I got the little mama out you're after. But be careful, man. People are listening to us. I got a little green village up in the hills. Come and get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I don't know you. I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller. So there's the truth being all crazy again. So he's got that green for us that we uh we needed for ten penny. Well, to do a favor for ten penny, we need that. Um, like I said, it'll come up again, and this is the first time it does come up. But this still isn't doing the actual deed. That will come in a few missions time. Which is what I like, because it's one of the few times in a GTA game where you get missions alluding to a future mission. So I like that. Oh boy, I need to go up here. Oh god. Got your dirt road down there, don't want to go down there.
probably shouldn't do that. It's probably like blowing right into the mic. Making a loud noise. Or something. This car is nearly dead. It's been a good ride, Mr. Car. But I'm afraid your time is almost up. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What's up, Scoob? That was a failed shaggy. I can do a better shaggy. Oh man, Scoob! What's going on? Zoinks! Still not great, but it's better than what I just did. Look out, Scoob, there's a ghost! R -r roast Ugh, what am I doing? Yeah. Got all the true signs that he's got up. Private road, private property, danger, no trespassing, positively, no admittance. Violators will be shot, survivors will be shot again. That it has appeared in Vice City in a loading screen before. But we didn't see that in the PC because there's like no loading screens in that. That's The loading screens are only in like the PS2, so yeah. And the Xbox, probably. Never played the Xbox One, but I'd assume that there is. Oh, Xbox One. Oh. No one should play the Xbox One. Anyway, um, shut up. Stop offending Microsoft fans. Anyway, I haven't played Xbox version of any of these GTA games, but I'd assume there's loading screens. After all, it's a console! Oh, Flame Wars. Go all out. Burn everything. Burn it all! Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Oh. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. What's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chop. Oh man, narks, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Ten Penny. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. Mm-hmm. So you gotta burn shit. Truth sucks at burning. Sorry. Don't run in front of him. Fire Eva. The fire's bad news. Man, all this good weed. Gone to bad use. Fuck. I miss 90 stoners and hippies. Well, 70s more like. Fuck. Today's stoners are just shit. 
I don't know. There's still some good ones out there. Assholes? Right wing assholes. Oh, I don't feel too good. It's a crying shame, ain't it? No. I mean, I think I'm gonna black out. Fight the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get her fired up. I'll finish burning and I'll follow you. Boink, boink, boink. Flamey fro, flamey fro. Flamey, flamey, flamey fro. He flows, he froze flames. He froze a flame because he's a flame he thrower. He's a flame thrower. He's a flame thrower. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, there we go. That's all the weed burned. Man, that's some good fucking weed. Man. We got a chopper on our tail. We'll never shake him now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Hey, Lance said the same thing in Vice City. Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. I was gonna make it into a lamp. Wait a minute. Got a good shot. No, I don't. No. No! This ain't good. Truth, why did you have to drive off? You fucking moron. Now look what you've done. I hate you. I hate your flaming guts, man. Stop driving. Fuck. It's following you. Oh! Yeah! Just as I intended. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to see here, officers. What you pull over for? You better drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right? Yeah. Then the fear hit me. Now I'm rolling a number. Calm the way. Shit. I better call Caesar. Oh, God. Hey, Caesar, no time to talk, Please. Man. I'm on my way to San Fierro. Please okay? make it up the hill. <laughs> oh, no. I'll let y'all lay. Wait, is that even the way I want to go? Yeah, it kind of is. Actually, yeah, that way's probably quicker. Jesus, we screwed. When'd you get this? 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most, but getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. You talking shit. What's with all aluminum for you, man? Protection from mind control, dude. Mind control? Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. You see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Hey, this thing go any faster? Man, we got three tons of grass on board. The engine block is held together with a macrame hammock and it's running on 15 year old cooking oil. Shit, can you shoot? Shoot, I'm a heavy. The only thing I've shot is acid. Well, I heard about this dude snorted it once. Thought his nose was a kangaroo and the moon was a dog. Woo! Hey, you want to hit on this? A little temple cherries and a cocktail with some Nepalese munga munga. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Oh, brother, it's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa, chill the fuck out. Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fading.
There she is, brother. San Piero, city of psychedelic weapons. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Piero, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Piero, between Garcia and Easter Basin. So you can't actually come here before this mission, and I think CJ says the same thing. Why did I come here before? And it probably doesn't make sense if you do that, so yeah. I've never really come to San Fierro before the mission because I didn't see a reason to, so... Yeah. I didn't do it in this LP, either. But here we are, safe and sound. This is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. So here we are. San Fierro. Our new home. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'll call it a day here. Uh, hmm. So yeah. It's been San Andreas, part 18 with VGB. Uh, welcome to San Fierro. I'll see you next time in part 19, where we'll explore the city a bit more, meet some new characters, and uh, maybe some familiar faces from Vice City. Stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.